with Brian Terrell saying that he could outrun Brian, and Brian said, oh no, I got a starting stop. I got a starting stop, so I'm good. But let's watch now as Brian works his way back in to Snow City. Plane. And a torque roll going backwards over 60 miles per hour with all the controls with his last start to this demonstration. speeds up to 240 miles per hour. He'll also experience more than eight times the force of gravity throughout the course of this demonstration. Boy, oh boy, red, white, and blue. That's what I love seeing. A quick snap roll and a double snap roll over the top. The double avalanche coming back through. Right there, experiencing about four or five times. Or four or five Gs. With a 300 plus horsepower engine on the front of this biplane, Ryan Perrell can do some really cool gyroscopic tumbling maneuvers. It's a small airplane, it doesn't weigh much. He's accumulated over 10. Flying hours, more than 3,000 as a flight instructor, 2,500 hours in the military, 900 combat hours. He has seven top ratings as a transport pilot. For the Air Force Reserves, Ryan Carell. Is an instructor in the Air Force's brand new area refueling aircraft, the KC 46 tanker aircraft. Oh, there's outside experiencing one G or one time the force of gravity. At the bottom of the roller coaster for a half a second or so, we might experience two Gs, but we will briefly experience twice our body weight in two Gs. Now we're gonna find out here in just a couple of moments whether this argument at the event last night between Brian and the driver of the jet truck, Neil Darnell, will come to fruition to see if there's any the grudge match. The idea would be, oh man, as he does those outside shoulder rolls over the top, turns off the smoke and cools it down a little bit. The idea will be, for the flash fire jet truck to be at the end of 50 years ago, the first one of these aircraft was designed and flown by Richard Van Grusen, and now 
It is the most popular amateur-built experimental aircraft in the history of aviation. As I mentioned over the it is so economical, it is so fun, it is so amazing. Ken and his wife Christy flew down here from the Cincinnati area, north of downtown Cincinnati, in three hours and 12 minutes. My wife and I flew our similar plane with side-by-side -side seating in three and a half hours nonstop from Cincinnati. We are thrilled to be able to fly an airplane just like this one. Ken was inspired when he was a youngster by the Blue Angels when he saw them. Get your cameras on now, ladies and gentlemen. And Ken Reader pulls up and to the left. Adam Baker scoots in, wants him redrawn. The much faster exit. Go for the hammerhead. In the lead, Bill Collin flying the jet-powered Waco. Seth Bourbon following him in the F-110. And Tom Capello is one of the sponsors for the F-110, as well as AC Air Technologies. And Lift Aviation, a new way to fly. Jeff Durbin uses the Lift helmet and shoes when he's flying. it back around and low to the left buzzing the tower and working his way back in Jeff Bourbon a former U.S. National Aerobatic Champion 
and member of the U.S. aerobatic team going into crossing the <laughs> The sky is not the limit today. We deployed to slow down Neil Darnell's Dodge jet powered truck. because we can see it now. Smoke pouring from the exhaust of the flash fire jet truck. Creating our own weather system out there. This jet truck that's down on the runway to your left, popping smoke and popping flame, belching flame, if you will, has reached speeds over 375 miles per hour. Now, Brian can get to 230 miles per hour. But he can't get much faster than that, and it's very possible that the jet truck will win. It all depends on the start. Pop of the afterburner. And Brian Perel playing chicken. By the way, Brian wants to thank his sponsors, InFlight. The InFlight Nomad, designed to be a universal microphone allowing pilots to take advantage of high noise canceling headsets. InFlight Cam, the leader in cockpit camera accessories and lights. Aerospace, BNC specialty products, whirlwind propellers. With a standing start for the jet truck and a diving start from the airplane. Those are burner pops. How many of you think the airplane will win the race? How many of you think the jet truck will win the race? And we will all know in favor of the jet truck. We will see. Neil Darnell's wife, Marilyn, is the crew chief. She'll be down there to give one final inspection of the flash fire jet truck. When it's done in formation with Jeff Durbin having to follow Del Collar through the maneuver. Let's watch as they work their way in from the right.
to the air show industry go into what they call a hover. They're going to set up for another one. So you'll be able to get your cameras on this. Because of each of the aircraft has a better than one-to-one -one thrust to weight ratio, experience two G's where we will briefly experience twice our body weight in two G's. Now we're going to find out here in just a couple of moments whether this argument at the event last night between Brian and the driver of the jet truck, Neil Darnell, will come to fruition to see if they can have a grudge match. The idea would be, oh man, as he does those outside shoulder rolls over the top, turns off the smoke and cools it down a little bit. Oh boy. Four point hesitation rule, but the last point being 90 degrees and goes into knife edge flight. So if the flash fire jet truck has a standing start and Brian Carell has a diving start, let's see who will get to show center before the drogue shoot has to be deployed to slow down Neil Darnell's Dodge jet powered truck. gentlemen because we can see it now the sky is not the limit today
the recovery. Uh, Chris Carter on the stick, and there's about four or five negative Gs. As uncomfortable as it gets in the airport. Way more difficult to handle than positive genes. We stand here on Earth experiencing one G or one time the force of gravity. At the bottom of a roller coaster for a half a second or so, we might experience two Gs, where we will briefly experience twice our body weight in two Gs. Now we're going to find out here in just a couple of moments whether this argument at the event last night between Brian and the driver of the jet truck, Neil Darnell, will come to fruition to see if they can have a grudge match. The idea would be oh man, as he does those outside shoulder rolls. Over the top, turns off the smoke and cools it down a little bit. Oh boy. Four point hesitation rule, but the last point being 90 degrees and goes into knife edge flight. So if the flash fire jet truck has Neil Darnell's Dodge jet powered truck. Gentlemen, because we can see it now. So we might experience two Gs, but we will briefly experience twice our body weight in two Gs. Now we're going to find out here in just a couple of moments whether this argument at the event last night between Brian and the driver of the jet truck, Neil Darnell, will come to fruition to see if they can have a grudge match. 
The idea would be, oh man, as he does those outside shoulder rolls over the top, turns off the smoke and cools it down a little bit. Oh boy. Four point hesitation rule, but the last point being 90 degrees and goes into knife edge flight. So if the flash fire jet truck has a standing start and Brian Carell has a diving start, let's see who will get to show center. Before the drogue chute has to be deployed to slow down Neil Darnell's dodge. gentlemen because we can see it now with Brian Carell saying that he could outrun Brian and Brian said oh no I got a starting stop I got a starting stop so I'm good but let's watch now as Brian works his way back in to so seven Plane. And a torque roll going backwards over 60 miles per hour with all the controls with his last start to this demonstration. speeds up to 240 miles per hour. He'll also experience more than eight times the force of gravity throughout the course of this demonstration. Boy, oh boy, red, white, and blue. That's what I love seeing. A quick snap roll and a double snap roll over the top. The double avalanche coming back through. Right there, experiencing about four or five times or four or five Gs. With a 300 plus horsepower engine on the front of this biplane, Ronnie Carell can do some really cool gyroscopic tumbling maneuvers. It's a small airplane, it doesn't weigh much. He's accumulated over 10. Flying hours, more than 3,000 as a flight instructor, 2,500 hours in the military, 900 combat hours. He has seven type rings as a transport pilot. For the Air Force Reserves, Ryan Carell. Is an instructor in the Air Force's brand new aerial refueling aircraft, the KC 46 tanker aircraft. Oh, there's outside experiencing one G or one time the force of gravity. At the bottom of the roller coaster for a half a second or so, we might experience two Gs, but we will briefly experience twice our body weight in two Gs. Now 
Now we're going to find out here in just a couple of moments whether this argument at the event last night between Brian and the driver of the jet truck, Neil Darnell, will come to fruition. The uh, The idea would be, oh man, as he does those outside shoulder rolls over the top, turns off the smoke and cools it down a little bit. The idea will be, That performance is just flat unmatched. They reach the top, they go off the power design, and go into the hover. From the hover. Go for the hammerhead. for the jet truck and a diving start from the airplane. Those are burner pots. How many of you think the airplane will win the race? How many of you think the jet truck will win the race? And a little more noise in favor of the jet truck. We will see. Neil Darnell's wife, Marilyn, is the crew chief. She'll be down there to give one final inspection of the Flashfire jet truck.